Okay, if you're used to managing uh, favorites in the old edge, you'll find that the new edge has some improvements. But to look at that, let's look at the, the old one. I have a lot of stuff because I do development, I do YouTube stuff, and my personal stuff. So if you wanted to manage these uh, here, you could do them uh, normally, like you wanted to change something, you just simply drag it somewhere else, click and hold it and drag it somewhere else. Uh, that's all uh, fine and good. Uh, but we're going to take a look on the new edge, how to do that a little more intuitively or at least a little more organized. But before we do that, uh, go over here to the favorites over here in the advanced management. You see it does have a better uh, way of managing it over here. But again, it's uh, one panel uh, to do stuff, to move stuff around. Not quite as advanced as we would prefer it to be. So let's take a look at the new edge. Now much has stayed the same. If we go here and it's imported all the favorites from my old edge. If you go down here and we see things like this, I can hover over it. I can see uh, things, drag them somewhere else, uh, put them in spaces. But you notice that the editing interface goes away as soon as you drop something. Um, and it did this in the old edge as well. So let's instead go over here to where we see favorites here. And we're not going to do it down here where you can do the same thing. But we're going to go up here to managing favorites. If you click on that, it'll open up this, a very nice interface which has your favorites on the left and then the details of it on the right. I'm, on, and I'm inside the favorites bar now and I can grab one of these, drag it around up or down. I can come over here and go in further, deeper, and click on something and see what's underneath that particular item on the menu as well. I can move it between items as well. When I drop it, I'm still on this interface. I can do a whole lot of work here without uh, having to reopen the drop downs each time. And frankly, my uh, favorites have got out of control. So this is going to allow me to organize this and get rid of duplicate stuff. So one of the things, you, know, you still can do it, but it's a little more difficult when you're in this interface. Let's say you wanted to add something. You can't right click and just say add site. Uh, quite frankly, you normally wouldn't do it this way anyways, but you can go down to the bottom, down here, type, click on add favorite. And if you have the URL and all that, uh, you type it all in and give it a name. And of course, you would normally do that by going to a tab and uh, doing it while you're there. So let's do that. Let's go to uh, my site, Old Guy Geek. And we'll go here. And we normally would click here and say add the favorites and then select it. Right now it's in MSN where I was during my editing. But I would go down here, click on this, and say add. Uh, look over here for where I want to go to. And... Uh, I'll put it under OGG. So now that it's uh, been added, we go over here, close this one, we're back to the interface here, and we'll go down here till we find OGG, and we'll expand on that. Let's click on it and go all the way to the bottom, and sure enough, uh, my site's been added to the bottom, and now I can drag it wherever I want on the favorites menu. Now another thing you can do while you're in this menu is that you can say add folder though, this makes more sense. Let's say I wanted to have underneath my favorites bar, at the very top level, I want to add one. So I just click on add folder, go in here and say uh, new. So I go over here and I scroll to the bottom down here and sure enough, uh, there it is. So now I have uh, new faves, new favorites. And uh, you see it down here. Over here and drag it to wherever I want in the menu system. Okay, I'm just going to leave it here for now. Uh, but I can move it around because now it's just like any other favorite. Uh, if we click on it, now you'll see I have my site, so I'm deleting that uh, from it. You can undo that, by the way, if you have a second thought you made a mistake. But if you go here and you right click on it, you can say delete. So let's say, though, that you have so many favorites that you can't figure out where things are, what to, where to put them. It's a handy little search feature up here which you just type in those keywords to uniquely identify the sites you're talking about. In my case, I'm just going to say Windows. Here's every single freaking uh, one that I have across all menus, okay? And shows you where they are, what they are, and uh, how uh, I can do things to them. I can move them and do that. You can use more discrete phrases here if you want. There's old guy, uh, a geek. You can do whatever you want to find those exact duplicates or sites that you want to either edit or get rid of. So you can still use, do the standard stuff here. You can uh, right click on a on the site and uh, click on it and say edit and you can make uh, changes here to make it more succinct in the title or 
I'll do something else with that particular link. So there you have it, how to do some advanced management of favorites, especially helpful uh, if you have such a crazy amount like I do. You'll find that the new Edge has a great new interface and is a lot easier to deal with. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.